Good morning, cancer fans. So today is my second day of work this week. Um, yesterday I worked a half day and my feet and hands were um, in pain up until right now. They're still in pain. Uh, so hopefully that goes away. Um, like I said before, the internet said that the neuropathy lasts, or it's at its peak from three to five months after your last treatment. It's been over three months since all that treatment it was in uh, January. I believe it was January, like January 11th or something like that, somewhere, somewhere right around there. So it would be uh, January, February, March, April, May. So yeah, we're looking at um, like four months. No, no, no. February, March, April, May. So. I don't know, this is April, yeah. Is this April? I don't know, Yen is sleeping, so I can't find out all the technical information. But um, anyways, so uh, yeah, so it's been three months anyways. So hopefully it's gonna start going down and getting better. I have my delicious coffee, I'm getting ready to head to work. I've not eaten breakfast because I'm not a big breakfast person. I'm more of a smoke cigarettes and stuff for lunch and breakfast. But I don't smoke anymore, so um, I've been trying to learn to eat in the morning, but I'm sure I'll be kicking myself in the butt while I'm at work today. It's a pretty far drive, too. It's like an hour an hour and a uh, 10-minute drive. I'm going to try a little different route today, though, to make it earlier. So my purpose for making this video today was because I wanted to... Well, someone asked about what we were taking to shrink well dennis asked what we were taking to shrink my colon, my liver tumor and it made me want to make a video on things that i thought were important for my recovery and my healing but obviously um i just got super lucky and um you know there, I, I don't know that there's really anything i mean obviously quitting smoking um, helped me um beat the cancer after i already had it i'm sure um Quitting smoking, quitting drinking, quitting energy drinks. Those are the three big things. Eating a lot healthier also probably contributed to everything. But um, I think that um, it's important to listen to that little voice inside your head that tells you the things that you shouldn't be doing. And you should do that anyways, even if you don't have cancer. Um, the little voice in your head that tells you not to eat um, a whole bag of cheese ruffles or cheddar cheese ruffles or a whole the little voice inside your head that tells you not to eat a whole thing of chip dip with your cheese ruffles. All right, you know, just the little voice inside your head that tells you to do things that you know are right to do. If your voice is telling you to do things that you know are wrong to do, don't do those things. Um, that makes you a psycho like that guy on, not like Norman Bates. So anyways, Dan is not here with me on this video, so it's kind of boring probably. But anyways, those are the things I think course quitting smoking quitting drinking um, alcohol and quitting drinking energy drinks I think made an incredible difference to my health um, I think that the number one thing that I did that helped me recover and get um, better is um, I took care of my health I started to eat better I knocked out all these things that were really bad for me and um, and my health was much better so there's no question um, health affects your healing and everything um, those were really the only things that I did, um, other than what the doctor said to do. You know, um, uh, if I was uh, working behind a desk or something, I probably would have stayed working the whole time. Um, but I didn't. I don't work behind a desk. I work out in the field. And that's it. That's a very short video. I just wanted to uh, say that, that I think that one of the most important things is to stay active. Um, not like uh, working out active, but um, like just moving around and doing things, uh, light things, if you, if that's what your doctor recommends. Um, but for me, definitely doing light things around uh, the house and staying up and about. Um, Deanna didn't let me um, lay in bed too much. Um, she was constantly finding little things for me to do, little easy things and fun things. Um, that's another thing. I, I can't imagine going through this all by yourself. Um, you know, I had Deanna and I had all of you guys for a support group and Deanna took care of all of the logistics of uh, making sure that all we went to all the doctor's appointments and to make sure we took all the pills and we got all the medications and we, I mean, I knew what my choices were and I knew, um, you know, 
it was just, uh, I, I know that I've said this before, but I really don't think I could have done it without her. That's just not my personality. I, I would probably not even quit smoking. I'll tell you what, when we left the hospital that first day of no smoking, um, I wanted a cigarette for sure. I was ready to stop and get some. Um, but I knew that if I did that, that it would be all over. She would be very unhappy. So we didn't stop at the store. I still haven't stopped at the store. So um, that's a good thing. Anyways, that's the video for today. Um, thanks to everybody for all your support. I'm heading off to work. Wish me luck. And uh, we'll see you. Thanks for watching the video. Bye-bye.